This will be a quickie. I'm just taking a look. I was scanning through some charts and I came out with Cabela's, symbol C-A-B. And for those of you that have never been to a Cabela's, it is a fantastic, absolutely fantastic sports store. Like, um, and they deal mostly with outdoor stuff. So what we're looking at mainly is a um, symmetrical triangle formation right there. And it's been churning around for let's see, since the October bottom, like much of the market has. And I like this formation a lot because, let's see, it's about three three months long and maybe four months long. And it's very wide. That means that we have, that means that the price targets are very far away from the actual price at the current time. So if I resize this graph, this stock is giving us price targets of Let's see, about 35 bucks on the upside and about 15 bucks on the downside. Okay, so let's put in some averages and see what that's telling us. So I have the 200 day and the 50 day, and it looks like it's just above both. That's good stuff. So um, jumping into some further analysis, what we would do with this stock is we would say, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do an OCO, one cancels other, order that we will get in, let's see, zoom into a 60-day chart so we can actually give us some good entry points. 60-day by 2 hour, maybe 30-day by 2 hours. And as far as entry points go, this looks like it was a significant level just at about... 2636 so we could get in let's say 2651 yeah 2651 that works or if you're slightly more aggressive you can get in at let's see we have a 2575 so about and then there's this resistance at 88 I'd probably get in around let's see what would it take for a breakout it would take a push above 2675 so I personally would get in around $26 and $26.20. So enter long 26.20. Where will we place our stop? Okay, looks like we have a support level. Let's see if we can find one. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it this way. This is the easy way. I told you that it was sitting right above the 200-day mo the moving average. How about if it breaks below the 200-day moving average, which is around 24.42? Or if you're nervous about that, we can go with the 50-day moving average at 24.65. If I zoom in and I take a look, actually, where is there a resistance level near there? Let's see, 24. That's right around the 200-day moving average. So. We're safe there. Uh, the 50, let's see, where was that again? The 50 was at 2465. And I see that we're going to have a mental anchor at $25. So 2465, put it below. That gives me a stop of about 2445. So stop is 2445. Or if you are very nervous, you can put your stop slightly higher. The next uh, support point would be a break below $25. I'm probably going to do a break below $25. So stop is at, actually, no, I'll do 24. Since this is, has a wide target, as a longer range train, I could give it some room to, be, to breathe. 24.44. Okay, so target is 35 bucks so let's see what is my risk my risk is 2620 minus 2444 and that gives me a total risk of one dollar and 76 cents so 176 per share and this is on the long side for the short side you would do a similar exercise but Man, unless they are going out of business, I do not expect to see this thing drop down to 15. Okay, 
because that means it has to go through the moving averages and all these support levels. This way, there's not that much above that stopping it. So our risk is 176. Our target is $35. Our probability of success, according to Volkowski studies, probability of success, let's see, is for a symmetrical triangle, 66% in a bull market. So that means our probability of failure is 34%. Okay, so that means that if I actually wait, if I wait this trade, so we have a risk of 176.76, our reward will be 35 minus 26.20. So our reward is $7.80. And all I'm doing is just taking the distance from where I'd get in the trade to where I'd get out of the trade. So we do a simple, let's see, grab a calculator. 7, 8 divided by 176. 4.43 risk reward ratio. That is very good. So R over R equals 4.43. Our minimum is 3. So if we're up at 4, that's great. Okay, so we have that. Now, we could also um, weight the probabilities to the risk and reward, and that'd give us an even higher number. Okay, now something else I wanted to go over. Relative strength index. I'm guessing that before the stock actually breaks out, we're going to see a breakout in the relative strength index. So you see there's a triangle right there. Now something else I like to do, if we go into my favorite divergence set and we take a look at the five day momentum this might give us a signal right now to be honest so take that all up and what do we have here start at this high down actually it doesn't look like this is giving us a signal either but expect this to give us a leading signal of the market before um, of this stock before we actually have the breakout so at this point I'm not expecting the breakout to happen tomorrow but perhaps by the end of the week. So eyes open on this one. And just want to point out one last thing. For those of you that like trading options, if I pull up the implied volatility, which is a measure of option premiums, and go to a two-year chart, please notice that option premiums right now are at a multi-year low. If you want to buy a long call option on this when it breaks out, you're going to get a hell of a deal. You're going to get a very, very strong edge over the other traders that are just trading the stock. So if you like options and if you're comfortable with them, highly recommend buying one. But if you want to do the stock, here's your trade up here. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, post in the comment box.